What's up guys? Welcome to Style to Johnny. My name is Johnny Andabwa. Now, is it your desire to become a professional runway model? Or are you aspiring to be a model in general and you don't know what are the nitty gritties in order for you to become a model? Well, today's video I got you. I'm going to give you tips from A to Z on how to be a professional runway model. And I also have a special guest, a lady. She's a professional model and she's also going to give us tips on what we need to do or what you don't need to do in order for us to become professional models. Without further ado, let's get into the video. You know I want you Never try to hide it once girl you're my missing piece uh -huh. And if I try to Now onto the first tip in order for you to become a professional model you need to be confident. Listen, confidence comes from the core. You get me? From the core. So you need to be as confident as possible if you want to become a model. Because no client or no clientele is going to pick a model who's less confident because you're going to ruin the name, the image of the brand. Because modeling is all about advertising. And if you're advertising a product and you're less confident or you're shy and whatnot, you're not going to get the job. And let me tell you something, confidence comes from seeking discomfort. I wasn't a confident person, I was a shy person, but you know what? I learned the fact that to be confident, you need to seek discomfort. When you see this girl and you think she's out of your league, that's when you approach that girl. When you see this audience and you're afraid of talking to that audience, that's when you talk to that audience. When you're in the midst of a group and one of you guys is asked to pray or you know do something or say something, be the first one to shoot up your hand and go in front of the crowd and talk to the audience. That's how your confidence level increases day by day. All right. Now on to the second tip, you really need to work on how you walk on stage. Well, this is something that a lot of guys find it difficult because most trainers, most model trainers make this thing look as difficult as you know like quantum physics and is this as easy as abc there's this one time i went for a fashion show and boys men were walking like goons and i'm like why there are three concepts that you need to keep in mind while walking on a runway number one always walk on long strides always walk your walk should be always on long strides because that conveys a sign of confidence the model is as confident and he owns the stage so that is the first tip always walk on long strides the second tip to improve your walk let your body not be rigid do not make your body look like a robot while walking make sure that your posture is upright your torso is as straight as possible and let it just flow because while walking there's always some music let it flow with the vibe get some vibe of the music of the ambience around the stage and just walk and number three the last concept that's tip make sure that you're focusing on one thing do not move your head around do not move your eyes around just focus on one thing and just look at it and just go these are just the three easy tips that you need to keep in mind when you're trying to walk on a runway ignore what this professional model teachers tell you about oh yo 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 i mean those are just like bogus this one to make you think that modeling is hard but it's not so hard it's just easy and uh anyone can do it right so yeah that's easy that's the second tip on to the third tip you need to be physically fit it doesn't mean that you need to be a gym addict or a gymaholic it's all about you keeping fit because you know as a model brands or companies or advertisements or advertisement companies they want a man who has the manly silhouette like you know the V and down tapered so that for you to have that shape you need to be physically fit try at least once or twice or three times a week go to the gym and that's how you're going to improve your chances of being a professional runway model Right. Or at times you're required to go on stage topless and you understand when you're going topless you need to have like some chest, some abs to show off, some biceps and whatnot. So one more thing, do not forget to own a pair of dress shoes because in most circumstances models while being called for auditions they're asked to wear some nice dress shoes, a pair of black jeans and a black vest or white vest or t-shirt for that matter. So own yourself a pair of dress shoes 
and a suit too, you never know. Hi, back to the video. The fourth and final tip before I invite my guest, this is take photos. As a model, that is what is going to identify you as a professional model. So always take photos, take photos, take photos, take photos, take photos, take photos, because that is building your portfolio number one and that is what is going to sell you out there. Take photos, make sure your Instagram is in check. Any like ishi ishi photos, just delete them and try coming up with some nice professional photos. As easy as it is. Alright, now let's hop into my guest. She's going to give you advice on how to be. Let's just, let's just talk to our guest. So, hi Adiambo. Hi. First of all, who is Adiambo? Adiambo. Adiambo is a professional model, currently based in Kenya, and a YouTuber who does modeling, traveling, a bit of fashion, and lifestyle videos. Alright, so like. I'm doing. I'm making this video on modeling, and I'm trying to ask guys. No, I'm not. I'm trying to ask guys. I'm trying to get ideas from professional models on what is it that is required for you to be a model, for someone to be a model, especially on the male side. On the male side. Yeah. Well, what I know uh -huh. is male models are usually quite tall. Like, I think minimum is five ten. If I'm not wrong, the tallest is six feet, and then very. Not like extremely fit, not a bodybuilder unless you're being bodybuilder. Fit like Ronnie. Yeah, 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 okay, cool. I get you. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Well, uh -huh. nice and fit, uh -huh. well groomed. And the other thing that people don't really pay attention to is every single one of the male or female, you have to really know how to introduce yourself, how to speak in English, in Swahili. Well groomed, your hair, your nails, yeah, your nails, even if you're male. Um, how you dress, conditions, make sure you clean, because the things that you look at, and you might be good, but then You're not some good. other things will just disqualify you from conditions. So I that, that is what I have also. Thank you very much. I'm sure you that uh, these guys will learn how to be models and compete with you out there. Yes. <laughs> it's, it's just a few remarks. I hope you've learned a few things on what to do if you want to be a model. It's very easy. You just need to believe in yourself and uh, the sky is the limit. Alright? Now that brings me to the end of today's video. Subscribe, like the video, share it with a friend or two, leave a comment saying if it has assisted you one way or another, and uh, I'll see you next time.